Hello everyone, I'm once again back with a new video amongst all of you, rather with a new film review and I welcome all of you to my channel, All of This Vlog and hopefully all of you are fine and as all of you are aware of the fact that I am a movie buff and I just love to watch good movies and whenever I see a good movie I watch a good movie, I just love to post the reviews in the form of text as well as in the form of audio videos. So after, uh, you know, posting the review in the textual format of the film uh, Kalki 289 Obviously now I'm going to be posting the audiovisual review of the film Kalki 289-80. So my public listener friend is Soul and the camp spec of film a pair of ophthalmic apparatus celestially got beguiled and eterally captivated in the midst of the pappy ambience of the cine theater while robbing my film or film hysterical or film fanatical pair of weaving up apparatus over the cinematic silver screen in the midst of the, you know, party evening on while uh, watching the Indian epic science fiction genre film Kalki 289-80. So as a film critic, cine reviewer, movie buff, filmaholic, film enthusiast, media educator, student and academician of film studies as well as, as an avid Farvid artist and uh, you know, uh, uh, Farvid follower of the uh, Farvid Senegal, I just loved the solid plot and narrative of this film as well as the cinematography, direction, and the sass effects, VFX, and the exquisitely, you know, the portrait and mise-en-scene elements of costumes, setting, makeup, lighting, figure movements, figure expressions, as well as the dialogue deliveries, the background scores, the accent stunts, everything. I just loved, I just cherished and relished to the optimum or to the pinnacle extent I must state as a film appreciator, come reader, come analyst, and everything in this film, Kalki 289 and seemed to be thrilling, gripping, as well as intensifying on the part of me as a film appreciator and reader and must have been the same uh, for the captive spectators inside the movie theaters and without even a teeny weeny fraction or minuscule fraction of activity a positive review of the humanity from my psychic and intellectual apparatus for this Indian epic science fiction genre film Kalki 2898-80. Megastar Amitabh Bachchan once again did uh, ooze or exude his class by delivering a uh, flamboyant, rocking, rollicking, sparkling, scintillating, stupendous, exquisite, fascinating and magnificent performance while portraying the uh, portraying on screen the iconic Indian mythological character of Aspet Fama and he just, uh, although Pravas was the main lead character of this film but the greatest impact of this in this particular film upon the captive spectators must have been from the character of Aspet Fama played by a megastar or the star of the millennium Amitabh Bachchan the kind of aura which Amitabh Bachchan created in this film by moments of the perfect performance while portraying or playing the role of the Indian mythological character of Aswatthama was simply inexplicably fabulous, outstanding and mind-blowing. And as a film critic from Senari I just loved it, cherished it and hats off to great Amitabh Bachchan for this splendid performance or spectacular performance. And another veteran actor, Kamal Hassan too, did leave a deep, deep impact while you know, playing a very, very key role in this film, although the role of an antagonist in this film. But his role was also very, very crucial, and I just love to see the role of the role played by Kamalism. Then the astoundingly beautiful Dan stylism, gorgeous Diva of Pita on Deepika Padukone to perform absolutely fascinatingly, fabulously, stupendously, and meticulously and marvelously while portraying her own character in this film as a female lead. She was absolutely brilliant. Although I have got one empirical analysis or observation in this regard as a film appreciator and reader, that is, Pravas, the superstar Pravas, could have added a little bit of more intensity and bite into his character, considering the kind of uh, you know stardom he has cherished so far. Although it's a very very uh, personal remark, which may be or may not be agreed to by the other film critics as well as the other media editors. But overall, Pravas's performance was also good, but the expectation level was higher. That's why maybe it could have been a bit more intense. But that's a very, very personal opinion. Then another female uh, cast, Deepika Padukone's, uh, sorry, uh, uh, the performance seemed to be so-so. And uh, as a film appreciator, come reader, come analyst, the first half of this uh, Indian epic sci-fi genre film, Kalki 289-80, seemed to be a bit slow pace for me, although the post double pads must have been intensifying and then gripping and thrilling, viewing experience on the part of the captive spectators inside the movie theaters. And as already stated, Without even a minuscule fraction of dubity, 100% of positive review will be emanating from my psychic coming intellectual apparatus for this Indian epic science fiction genre film, Kalki 289 80. A majestic, 
blending of the you know mythological characters with the modern day era must have been and must have been a unique viewing experience on the part of the captive spectators in this film. I can't help stating as a film appreciator and reader. Because if you watch this movie, you will find that it has been based on the backdrop of the Mahabharata, then the Kuruksetra War, then the glimpses of the Kuruksetra War have been shown, then, uh, you know, uh, it has been related or blended with the modern day perspective, then the supernatural things have been shown, then the aspects of science and technology have also been depicted. So it has been... Uh, fabulously and meticulously uh, with a pinpoint accuracy has been blended or synthesized with the modern day era. That is the mythological features have been blended with the modern day perspective and that's why that, that's how the narrative has been set in this particular film, uh, Kalki 289 and it was, it must have been a unique viewing, viewing experience on the part of the captive spectators inside the movie theaters. I must state as a film appreciator and reader. Then, uh, obviously, uh, it's a saga, this film, Kalki 289 it's a saga of the modern-day incarnation of God into the earthly domain or horizon with the purpose of the intended destruction of the evil forces and it has been synthesized with a solid plot and narrative were then exquisitely scripted, fabulously cinematographed, majestically directed, then fascinatingly uh, cinematographed, then uh, Awesome in an awesome demeanor. The camera work has been done. That the dialogue deliveries, that super performance, or a brilliant performance by the cast. So it's a complete package, rather I should say. And I have already uh, stated this film has taken the box of his best off, and hopefully this will emerge as one of the highest grossing films in a single calendar year for India. And uh, obviously the storyline, everything, just each, it, it's a complete package, jam of a cinematic production. I must state. As a film appreciator and reader, and I just relished almost each and every moment of the film. Although, as already stated, the first half seemed to be at a slow pace, but the post interval paths of the second half seemed to be a rocking, you know, a rocking, scintillating, and blistering and flamboyant viewing experience on the part of the captive spectators. So, as already stated, two main aspects of this film I have liked one that it is the saga of the modern day incarnation of God or the supreme deity into the earthly horizon where the purpose of the intended destruction of the evil forces and obviously the perspective of mythology have been blended or synthesized with the modern day perspective or modern era in a brilliant, superb and exquisite dominion. So overall, Jam of the Cinematic Production of Moscow's film already has, you know, rocked the box office in terms of collection and hopefully, uh, critically, this will be claimed to. So hats off to the entire team of Kalki 289 and the Indian science fiction genre film. And on that note, let me wrap up this video for today with some new videos and new film reviews. I'll be back pretty soon. Until then, please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe my channel, Alokes Blog. And before wrapping up or winding up, once again, I'd like to state that without even a teeny weeny or itchy itchy fraction of duty, a positive review will be managing from my psychic and intellectual apparatus for this Indian, Indian, Indian epic science fiction genre film. Kalki 289880. Especially the performance of Amitabh Bachchan, Magister Amitabh Bachchan, was astounding, superb, fascinating, fabulous, and brilliant, and the other cast also performed. Fair enough. So on that note, let me wrap up for today with some new videos. I'll be back pretty soon. Until then, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe my channel, all of his blog. Bye-bye, good night, and love you all.